Hey, Sam here. Full disclosure, this video is unscripted. Welcome to my affiliate journal. Today, I am going to walk you through certain items that I use to achieve decent video, if you will. For a while, you will quickly notice that video is video content is a force to reckon with these days so it is imperative that as an online marketer or an affiliate marketer that you are able to step up your own game you know as far as sound quality and video quality is concerned i mean you don't have to break the bank you know to do a decent video this day and age if you already have a smartphone chances are that you are able to to do a decent quality you know with your video you really don't have to have uh, all the heavy equipment you know like i am doing if you look at behind me behind me right there is where i do most of my uh, work as far as video is concerned in fact everything i do is done from behind me right there knowledge is key in this case you know sometimes you already have some of the things that you need to actually produce decent quality videos, you know, but because you really don't know, you are not able to explore uh, those items that you may already have to come up with decent quality, you know. So I believe that the sound quality in your video should be as you should strive to, to be very good with the sound quality as much as you strive to to do better looking videos, you know. So um, as as effort to actually help you out there, I am going to put things together that I use to do my video as an affiliate marketer, you know. So I hope that this will be impactful for you and I hope that this will actually help you in one or two ways to do better videos, you know, because sometimes the better the videos look, the better engagement you get, you know, with the videos because things are getting better, things are getting more advanced by the day and it really doesn't cost so much to achieve good quality. So, like I said, unscripted, I'm just going to walk you through things that I use like my microphone, my camera and the tripod or whatever it is. I hope you will enjoy this video at the end of the day all right let's dive into it right now so um here we are on my desk what you can see is my smartphone my iphone these days there's hardly anyone who doesn't have a smartphone unless of course they probably live in the cave no i take that back there's hardly anybody who doesn't have a smartphone these days. So basically, this is what you need. You may already have your smartphone. Now, with smartphone, what you don't want is shooting portrait. This is portrait. When you hold your phone that way, you're shooting portrait. But what you want to do is to turn your phone and make sure it's on landscape. Now, once it's on landscape, okay, Siri, I'm sorry. I don't want to talk to you. What you want to do is want, you want to hold your phone on landscape and that gives you full HD. There is, there is full HD, there is 4K, um, there is um, ultra HD and all of that stuff. I don't have all the technical terms for that, you know, but if you hold it right here, if you hold it on portrait mode, um you're not getting full hd unless of course you want to shoot for instagram you know then you can do uh you can do portrait but i highly recommend that you shoot your videos on landscape so that you get that full hd so another thing i would like to point out here is you know for you to extend the capabilities of your camera there is an application called Filmic Pro. If you can, add, uh, if you can afford it, it's very inexpensive. It's it's about ten dollars, you know, um, and it's a one-time thing. It's called Filmic Pro. That is it right here. Let me focus on it. Uh, 
is called filmic productive right here you know so it extends the capabilities of your phone you are able to do more so you're able to shoot in raw format now when you're able to shoot in raw format it just means that you have leverage to improve on the quality of your video in post-production you know that is when you are doing your uh editing in final Cut pro or in premiere pro if you know how to use those softwares but i'm not going to dive into that because i i believe i'm dealing with people who may not really know much about these things and i don't want to bore you with uh, details of those kinds of things right now unless of course you you indicate interest in in those areas then i'll be able to do videos regarding how to use some of those softwares uh, to edit your video but let's keep it simple so moving on to the next thing is uh, is a tripod the next thing I want to talk about is a tripod a uh, tripod for your phone you know so this tripod is good for holding your phone landscape because I want to believe that when you are doing your video you don't want to hold your vi you don't want to hold your phone you know because you want to be able to concentrate on what you're doing and so you want a a a tripod that is able to hold your phone in landscape you know so that you know you can get your full hd and get it correctly so basically that is going to be your tripod and this tripod is very inexpensive you can get it on amazon for less than 15 dollars you know let me not dwell on it but you want to be sure that you get the right one for your smartphone just enter the just enter a keyword into the search engine maybe uh say uh tripod or stand for smartphone stand for smartphone you know enter it into amazon search engine you'll get a whole lot of them there's some for table uh, top there's some for your car some for uh um when you are outdoor in the woods or wherever you go to to do your video so basically that's how that works number three is the light number three is light now what you have here is something that it's quite common you know you want to make sure that you have light over you uh, to lead your face because you want to be able to make that connection with your audience or with your viewers you know as as you do your video so you want to have uh, clear pictures or clear image you know in your video so but I have here a little bit of screen for that light and what you see there is just a piece of paper towel what that is doing there if you may ask is screening is is just to reduce the intensity of the light so that you don't get over exposure on your face you don't have your face blown out you know in a way that it becomes it becomes uneasy to watch so basically this is an inexpensive way to do lighting for your video and i hung it on a stand you can hang it on anything it has kind of like a clamp on the side you know that's a clamp right there on the side let me focus that's a clamp right there i clamped it to the stand right there so that it doesn't fall off when i'm recording so that is how that works now you can actually just get this uh, paper towel you know paper towel is everywhere you know you can use it and hang it over the light so this is the difference when it has paper towel on it you know you can see how how it softens the light the light intensity is kind of like softer right now so uh, the difference you know is clear you know and I I, as you can see in the example in the screen the difference is clear what it does to you so that's the reason why you want to have um, kind of like a screen it could be a white cloth piece of cloth it could be um, 
it could be a shower curtain there's this shower curtain that you can purchase from your local store you know it's like a see-through a semi see-through it's it has this frost feel to it you know it has a way of reducing the intensity of of your lighting so you have to be able to do that i mean it's very inexpensive the light is less than ten dollars or less than eleven dollars thereabout so these are the things the key things that i use to achieve my video of course uh, i won't forget to talk about a software uh, this is a software that i use to it's called camtasia i use a more professional software now because I know how to use it but when I started I was using Camtasia Camtasia it comes with um, a, a one-time price you know but now I use Premiere um, Pro uh, which is a more sophisticated uh, software and it requires a lot of uh, tutorial to be able to use this bad boy you know because um, if you want to go pro then you start thinking of a software like premiere pro but this is what i recommend if you really don't have any knowledge of any software yet you know because it is a lot easier to use in fact i still find myself running back to um to camtasia because camtasia is very easy to use if i want to do like a quick tutorial i want to pop in videos and all that i come to camtasia because camtasia is very easy to manipulate you know and um it's it's something i recommend for starters then with time if you want to go a notch higher you can now move to uh premium pro which is this particular one so this is what i have for you today you know um if you have any idea or what you think might be better i i you can leave them in the comments you know and i'll be more than glad to get back to you uh this is what i do and then lastly how can i forget this lastly is microphone let me take this i have i'm actually wearing that microphone right now this is a microphone um can you hear me that's a mic that's a very mic i'm currently using this is a microphone and this microphone is called a lavalier mic i got this mic for as low as ten dollars on amazon um i tell you this the when i thought i was doing great with um sound but when i got this microphone it took the sound quality to another level you know the sound quality of my video just changed you know so you want to actually look at getting a lavalier mic you know the mic has a piece of let me show you it has a piece of foam tiny foam on top of it so that foam just helps to screen noise it it takes out it filters unwanted noise in the way so um it filters unwanted noise in the way you know so that's the microphone that i use i'm sure somehow it has reduced the sound because i am trying to to bring it to the camera but i'm going to place it back to where it belongs so that you can hear me you know as i'm doing the rest of the video I have it plugged into my laptop right now so as you can see what you want to do is to plug it to the the port right there I don't want to take it out because I'm recording I'm doing this real time so I don't want to remove it so you just look out for the where you have the microphone uh, set uh, the 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 plug um, the port for the microphone you know you just plug it in there and it will pick and it will start recording you know you can record straight into Camtasia which is right there and then if you're using the uh, if you're using Cam Camtasia on your laptop if you're using Camtasia on your laptop you're going to be able to use the camera on your on your on your laptop right like 
you see it right here you're going to be able to use that and then record at the same time so it's going to happen in real time so let me show you real quickly like when you start recording what happens is that look at you hit the record button here in Camtasia as you can see when you hit the record button and you start recording you know once you start recording you know the the screen will come up and then it will record your voice simultaneously so this is what i have for you today you know um if you have any idea or what you think might be better I, I, you can leave them in the comments, you know, and I'll be more than glad to get back to you.